Hey everybody, this is Mark with iApple Tech 128, and today we're going to be reviewing Mailbox Beta for Mac. So, you can download the beta today. However, you do need an invite code, and we are giving away three of them. And once you set up the app, you have to, you get to this page where you will need to enter in a beta coin. And once you do get a beta coin, all you need to do is drag that GIF, GIF file into the little um, can, and it goes into the can, and it loads up your beta coin, and you can now use the app. So once you do get into Mailbox, this is the interface. Everything looks fairly similar to the iOS and Android version, and looks especially familiar if you have used the iPad one, where you have your sidebar here, your messages here, and you have your message right here. So take a look at the top. We have our close button, our minimize, and our full screen button. This is much like OS X Yosemite, except these aren't colored, and there is no full screen button. It's right here. So um, you get full screen with that button right there, but unfortunately you have to go through here to exit full screen mode if you are on Mavericks. So next we have our search field. We can search for anything that we want, so I can do the search for beta, and it pulls up things from my inbox as well as my lists. So you can pretty much search for anything right from here. And then these are the things that you're familiar with. You have your option to choose where that message goes on a list. We can set it for three minus later. You all know that. We have our inbox, which is where it's currently in. We can mark this in as archive or delete it. And the one thing that I really like is that not only do you get these buttons at the top, but just like the mobile version, you get these different swipe gestures. So we can swipe all the way to one side to get to our list and do all these different things. And then if we want to just go ahead and delete a message, like I showed you, you can either swipe or you can just click the delete button right there. There's a little box on the screen you can click or link in the description to take you to our giveaway of this app. And we'll be giving away these, three of them. But anyway, back to the review. Um, you can view your message very similarly to how you do on the Gmail website. Unfortunately, I noticed with these two side by side that Gmail, the website, actually got my emails quicker and more often than this app. One thing I noticed is I get a little notification up top, but there is no sound. This is a beta, so maybe they will fix that later. But then on the left hand side, we have our inbox and our mailbox. We have our later, we have all of our messages from our lists. We have items that are archived, items that are in the trash, spam, which I think is a very nice feature. We also have sent as well as drafts. So overall, this is a very nice interface. And another thing that I really like about this is this compose message. As you can see around my whole desktop, it gets darkened so I can focus on what I'm doing right in front of me which is very nice, and I think it's a great feature to have. You can focus on what you're doing. And if you wanna know how many messages you have, I do like this badge app icon, much like the one for iPhone. It shows you how many messages you have, read or unread, see all these are read, but it just shows me how many I have in my inbox. That way it can help me get to zero, which is the main goal of Mailbox. One thing that I really like is if you hold down the command key on your keyboard, as you can see, we get these little hidden characters that show you what functions you have while holding down the command key. So if I hold command and then one, it takes me to my mailbox. If I hold command and seven, it takes me to my drafts. And I can do one again to go back to my mailbox, two for later, command N for a new one, command delete to delete that, all that sort of stuff. Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like. I highly do recommend this, and if you want to try it out for yourself, be sure to hit that giveaway link on the screen or down in the description below. And that will take you to our giveaway where we're giving away three codes for Mailbox Beta. Um, as for Beta, it seems pretty fine. I had a couple of scrolling issues where it scrolled really slow, but then it fixed itself. So even though it's in Beta, it is fairly good, and it works pretty as well, good as well. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. That's all for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.